Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. We're back talking about shopping for fishy stuff on the internet. Recently, in my last video about shopping on Timu, trying to buy a fish tank and all the equipment you needed to set up an entire tank, went really well, I thought. But, there must be another way, and there is. So, a few people suggested on there, why don't you go and do this in a local shop, or try buying second hand, or buy something that's more affordable for people. So, more affordable is my watchword. So, that's what we did. Obviously, my go-to for more affordable is Facebook Marketplace. Long-time viewers and subscribers will know I have a love-hate relationship with Facebook Marketplace. Mostly hate. And I'll, and I'll give you a little glimpse into why. So, things like this. £20 Aquarium. Let's click on it. What does it say? Fish are not included, otherwise pump sand. What does that even mean? Um, but this is oh, a recipe for disaster here. So you've got the clown puke gravel with one, two, three, four, five goldfish in what looks like quite a small tank. Quite a nice tank, but oh, I, I don't want to speak to that person, sorry. <sighs> got things like this you need to watch out for. Five pound glass tank. That was clearly used for rats or rodents, and you don't want to reuse something that was used for rodents. Fair enough, they put it in the description. Um, as a fish tank, because once they've been used by that, they'll nibble away at the seams, the silicon will be gone, uh, you're just asking for disaster. Not, I mean, you could bleach it and clean it out properly, but it's never going to be as good as it could be. And so you have to go through here, there will be things in here which you might enter into a four-month conversation with someone about, right, what is it, how much do you want? So, that looks good, huge glass fish tank, um, free collection, ASAP, four and a half foot wide, 47 centimeter, 22 inch height, somewhere in Sheffield. Um, one picture where you can't really see anything about it. So you might have to go out, do a bit of research, do a bit of legwork, see what's out there, see what works for you. I'm wanting to go for something more manageable, more, um, more the kind of thing that can fit in numbers of situations. So you could have this in your kitchen, in your bedroom, in your living room, a small manageable tank. I don't want a monster tank. This is kind of the experiment of looking for something that we can get similar to what we got with the Timu tank. So I'm really looking for something that comes with lots of extra stuff. Um, I mean, this is a good size. £50, comes with 12 sword tail fish, bought a new one, blah, blah, blah. Comes with filter and temperature bulb. What's a temperature bulb? Okay, pick up only will carry it put to vehicle. Fair enough. Um, that's more the sort of size, but we'll do a bit more research, have a look around. I'm kind of, there'll be ones in here where, like this thing, people's minds of what is a good price for a used aquarium. 250 quid, this was listed. I could probably get that new for that. Um, just because you paid something for something months and months ago doesn't mean you get that back again when you come to sell it. Second hand is second hand. So I'm kind of looking to spend like a pound a litre, that kind of thing, max. Um, I really want to get under that, so look, this looks good. So 55, 55 litre cube tank, only wanting 20 quid for it. That's kind of good. It is just a tank, so I will then have to buy substrate. Uh, a light, a filter, a heater if I need a heater, um, plants, ornaments, all that kind of stuff. I think we can do better, but that's not a bad price for a 55 litre tank. So it's definitely worth scouring through this. Um, free! I bet you this is not free. I know for a fact that is a picture off eBay. So, yeah, free tank. I want a turtle tank. They're not selling a tank, they're trying to buy a tank. So this is what you've got to put up with when you're doing the second-hand stuff. It's a load of crap, a load of people thinking they've got something that's like gold or something like that. Look at this, 450 quid for a monstrosity of a fish tank. Uh, oh, it's an L-shaped tank. It's still a monstrosity. Eh, nah. Um, there you go, a nice Joe Roma, I think that is. Um, for sale, including heat and filter. Heater and filter, sand. Uh, I used to have one of these tanks. These are top quality tanks. Um, I'll keep looking at this. I'll be looking at eBay, I'll be looking at Gumtree, I'll be looking at uh, forums, that kind of thing. 
see what I can find and we'll come back later. Right, a couple of days later we have made a purchase on Facebook after many, many, many weird and wonderful conversations. So, as a reminder, what we're trying to do is replicate this tank. So this was the Timu tank. I will leave a link up there or up there somewhere, but you know, banana for scale. This is the Timu tank that we're trying to replicate. I'm currently using it as a little beta tank. And it is little, but it's cool. I like it, but it was also expensive. So the name of the game now is budget. It's all about how much money can we save and what can we get that looks good for the money. And well, it's this. Banana for scale. So this is what we've ended up with. It's a much bigger tank, much more stuff in it. It's two foot by one foot by one foot in comparison to the Timu one, which is less than half the size of that. And this came with some stuff. Obviously, budget being the name of the game, I wanted to get the best bang for my buck. I won't necessarily use all of this, but it's all there. And the theory is I could sell this stuff if I don't use it and then recoup some of the money. But the whole lot costs 45 pounds. And let's have a look at what the whole lot is. We have the tank itself. So it seems in good condition. Um, needs a bit of a clean, but it seems fine. We've got a digital automatic feeder hard mounted to the lid. Uh, probably won't use that. I don't, I'm not against automatic feeders, but I think I'm trying to create something high end on a budget and that does not scream high end to me. So I think the lid in general is going to go, but it's nice to have a lid. You can mount a light inside there, um, but I think we're going to get rid of that. It also came with this. I have no idea what this is. Answers on a postcard anyone. It doesn't fit in there. Doesn't fit that way. I think they just, is it a dish drying rack? <laughs> they just forgot to take it out. Mm, not gonna use it. Uh, then inside here we have a number of things. So we've got a little internal filter, which I cannot get off. Sorry, my fish are getting antsy because I'm near mega tank. They're going, hey, feed us big man. Anyway, back to this. So we've got this little internal filter. Um, again, I'm probably not going to use this, but my daughter's tank is going to get this. So that saved me having to buy a filter. So there's a couple of quid saved in there. There's a number of decorations. Yeah, fine. Again, I won't use these, but it's nice to have. Um, my daughter might want them, so I don't know. I might do something with them. But the reason that I pulled the trigger on this one wasn't any of these things. It was this. So we've got a Seachem Tidal hang on back filter in full working order. These things are good. I love these. So it's a great filter for a tank this size. Currently buying new for about 50 quid. And um, so to get it included with the tank and everything else, it's pretty good. But there's more outside. It came with a bucket of gravel, which I have been spent a couple of hours rinsing off, but it's fairly clean. These blue pebbles, I don't know why. <laughs> so we've got everything we need, pretty much. And then I'm just going to use a couple of bits of dragonstone that I had lying around to try and make escape, because again, I'm going to try and make it nice. So when I say I'm going to try and make it nice, I'm going to try and escape it. But the lid just, it doesn't do it for me. I think on a rimless tank, or an open top tank or whatever you want to call them look a little bit more high end but we need to do some things so i need to give this a clean we need to have some kind of background because i don't like being able to see through that it spoils the look a little bit when you can see through and see my other tanks but i'm limited to space this is the only place i can go but i have an idea and um, the only thing i didn't get that i need would be a heater and a light they actually offered me a heater for an extra couple of quid, but I don't really need one. The fish room here is heated. Um, and a light. Again, they didn't give me a light. Wasn't that bothered. I'm going to reuse something that I've already got. Because that's the name of the game. Reuse. Not go out and spend loads of money. So I've already spent £45 to get to this point. Let's see what I can do by reusing plants from other tanks. Bits of rock from other tanks. Bits of wood, lights and see how close we get to a nice tank. Bear with. Right. 
Right, so here's the bit of Dragonstone that I quite like the look of. I'm going to put that in there. This is the first of the borrowing things. And I've also found a few of these actually tank dividers that I had stored away. Because it's a glass bottom, I'm just going to put a couple of them in there to protect the rock. Which is going to sit somewhere around there. And then I've nicked a couple of pieces of driftwood, which I'm not quite sure I'm going to place them yet, but the idea is they will stick above the level of the tank a little bit and a couple more small bits of the rock but first I'll get some substrate in there and again I'm just borrowing substrate from old stuff that I had I do have escape in mind but as usual it's just whatever I think of at the time but I'm kind of thinking planting more around this side so there's going to be a rock off center here so I want to plant around that so the planting substrate which I have left over from the T-Mobiles just going to do that around where I think that rock's going to be fine and then I want to build up a bit more height so again I'm just going to use some old substrate that I have to build up some height and then cap it with that gravel that I got with the tank so this is a mix of sand gravel soil all old, old stuff it doesn't smell so it must be a, quite old it's just to pack it out and again if you don't have this this could be some cheap gravel from B&Q or play sand or whatever this probably is play sand it doesn't have to be expensive stuff we're just using it to build a bit of height and something to put plants into again I want a little bit of a slope so I'll be viewing it from this angle and from th this angle here um, so I want the high point to be up here and then I think I want to get the big rock in before I go on to substrate and again this is dragonstone so if you see there's kind of it's got directions <laughs> it points in a certain way so if you lay it one way it'll look good if you lay it another it won't but it's all to do with your own eye isn't it so I want that kind of there Again, drawing the eye towards the back. That's the idea anyway. That's stable, stable-ish. And again, this egg crate stuff is there in case that falls over and doesn't smash the glass. But I kind of like that. Um, so I'll get the gravel in next, which is going to be the, the capping layer. In with the gravel. So you can see that there's not really anything at the front, but I'm not going to have any plants down at the front, I don't think. It's just going to be open swimming space. But up at the back, there's a good couple of inches worth. I don't know what this gravel is, but it's a nice reddy colour. Which I think will look good against some green plants. Almost as if I planned it. I don't know what it is about these. Who puts that in an aquarium? And if I kind of backfill behind this, that should hopefully hold that up a bit sturdier. Yeah, kind of. So that's going to be my main centerpiece. And everything else is going to try and focus and flow off that piece. more of these blue things and what do you know the amount of gravel that came with the tank fits the tank perfectly another bonus another bloody blue thing So next we want the wood and the accent rocks. I'm going to try the wood next. I've got two separate pieces here, which again I want to follow that same flow, but I also want to protrude out of the water. So I had them something like this. I think that works quite well. 
Don't want them to touch. And again, from this angle, everything's kind of going like that. And then I could put in the little accent rocks again, going the same sort of way and providing a little bit of support. I think that works. Normally I'd put in, I'd smash up one of these and put in little bits around, but I think they would get lost in here and I kind of want to go for a heavily planted look. So I think that's it for hardscape. Depending on how much this floats. <laughs> I think that's alright. So I've gone with a smaller filter actually at the back because this isn't that big a tank and the tidal filter, I, I built up the substrate too much. It didn't reach, it was too big. And that should be fine for a tank this size. I really just want to get water flowing. It's going to have loads of plants in here. Um, speaking of plants, what we've got is these down here. I've gone for a couple of big crypts that I've got. These are like crypt mother plants. And some java fern. Um, we've got some Anubius. Nice and dark green. And a bit of Junkus Rippins. Do a bit of grassy stuff. So I'm thinking these big crypts, kind of one either side of the big rock, Anubis in the front, some of the Java fern through the back in the middle, and the Junkus Rippins in behind the crypts, which will hopefully come up and start to populate out the front. Maybe add a few more around the front, we'll see how we get on, but we'll keep it like that for now. Let's get planting! So this is the Anubis, or the Nubius, if you're into <laughs> your Egyptian history. Um, but yeah, these bits are the roots. This bit is the rhizome. This bit can't go under the substrate. These bits can. So it seems to be, a lot of people have trouble with them, and I think it's just because they bury them too deep. But yeah, this bit here, the rhizome, you don't want to bury that, but these bits, you do. So if you just kind of give it a wiggle in like that, or you can just attach this to wood with some super glue or something like that, or wedge it. I think what I'm going to do is try and wedge it in this little space here, and the roots will find their way down easy enough. And if it doesn't wedge properly, I shall add some glue. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Similarly with the java fern, these are roots, but the rhizome is hard to see. It's the bit that you don't want to bury, but this plant really, this is a pot full. All available on aquariumadventures.co.uk, obviously. Um, but this is a pot full, so it can be split up into num numerous plants. So you know when you go on eBay and buy five java ferns, this is about 20. Um, but these go well wedged into places. And again, I want them more backgroundy, but I don't want them coming out of the water either, so I've given myself a bit of a dilemma. So I'm probably going to wedge them behind these bits of rock, probably. See how we get on. So, there we go. That's, I'm happy that planting, that is going to do nothing but just go and fill out completely with plants and be a proper jungle. I'm thinking some little fish, but um, obviously because it's not a massive tank, but some little fish in there would look really cool. I kind of like the ready versus green. Um, gone a bit crypt heavy, some people will be saying, what? There's no such thing. But I really like crypts, they're a great plant. There's a couple of different varieties in here. And then we've got the Anubis, some Java Fern, I've added an Amazon, boo, an Amazon sword at the back to kind of hide the filter a little bit from this angle. And that looked quite good when it fills out and then there's some junkish ripens in the back there which should just go filling out the back but still got that problem that we can see everything behind it which is not good so a couple of options to fix that but let's get it filled first there you go it's all filled up i think that looks pretty good 
and there's a few bubbles and stuff on the glass. Um, I've gone with this light for now because I'm not happy with the light situation. I'm not really happy with this light. This is just a cheap old light that's perfectly good. We'll grow the plants happy and everything, but it kind of takes away from the fact that I've got the wood coming out of the water. I just don't like that look. So it'll do for now. I have a couple of messages going on. People, I want a kind of gooseneck thing. Um, so I've seen a few options of taller lights where they're about a tenner. So I'm trying to get that, but this will do for now just to keep things going along. Next, we need to deal with the background. And I've got a few options. Again, because I've got stuff flying around, so I've got this kind of black film that I could put across the back and that would do the job. It would be perfectly serviceable. Um, I could paint the back. So some kind of black acrylic paint or something like that, that would also do the job quite well, but different idea. I've got a lot of this black plastic backing. This, this is a dirty bit, but I have clean bits as well. Where this could just kind of slide in behind and block off the whole lot. I can make it as tall as I want, as short as I want, and cover everything. And then I could, if I have the light up here, that might look pretty good as well. Uh, another option that I've got for lighting, again, kind of blows it out of the water for a cheap thing but it's free to me because I already have it I've got one of these like marine hanging lights so I could suspend this from the ceiling and um, over the tank and that would probably look really good kind of overkill for a tank this size but it might look good and I've got it anyway is that cheating um let's pretend I've spent a tenner on a nice light um but I might just try this and see what it looks like don't think that looks too shabby. So obviously I have spent some money. There's some plants in there. There's maybe like 20 quid worth of plants. Go on aquariumadventures.co.uk if you want to get the same ones. Um, I've used some things like some old substrate. If you don't have some old substrate, any kind of old um, proper compost, the cheap stuff without any additives that do the same thing. Play sand. But yeah, just shop around and you'll get someone selling some con some substrate. Uh, I've reused the rocks, but again, if you haven't got any, pick some up from your local river. Perhaps pick some up from Facebook Marketplace, somewhere like that. And then obviously, the light is a bit of an indulgence, but something else could have been found. I think that's not too bad. And in comparison to the Timu tank, there's a lot more options for what I could keep in there. And this is going to look great in a couple of months when it starts to fill out. And remember, if you want to get some of these plants for yourself, I've started selling them on my website, so go and check that out if you're interested. There's some great quality plants. Get stock gets updated every couple of weeks, so if something's out of stock, it will usually be in pretty soon. And if there's something you specifically want, drop me a message on some of my socials or in the comments. Come and join us on the Friday night and let us know what you want. I'll see if I can get it for you. I think it'd be fun to have a lot of nano fish in here. So we've got some chili rasboras, ember tetras, and these little rainbow fish, Ivan soft rainbows. If you can actually see that. They're really cool when they coloured up. Everyone's just moved in and settling in a little bit. I've put in a couple of floating plants I've stolen from other tanks. A bit of moss growing out of the tank, at the top of the tank. I'm really happy with that. I think that looks really good. And I think it's quite funny to have that tank there with little nano fish and this tank here with the exact opposite. So they can stare each other out and have little staring competitions. Excited to see what happens when this grows out a bit. I think it'll look really good. So all in all, the spend was 45 quid for all the equipment. We cleared another 20 quid or so for plants, another 20 quid or so for a light. That's still well under budget. Um, I reckon if I had been a little bit more diligent, I could have probably come in half the budget of the Timu tank for twice the tank. Um, let me know if you like this kind of thing. We'll do lots of different types of videos in here. Mix things up a little bit. Um, 
Maybe you want to see a mega tank video next and see how the guys are getting on. As always, if you like this kind of thing, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a follow, click that follow, subscribe button. If there's a button, just give it a click. Come and join us on a Friday night. We do a live stream every Friday. Uh, a bit of fun, games, beers, things like that. See you then. Bye.